Well, hello there. Thanks for clicking on the video. This is Nate, and I got a nice triple wide for you today. This one is called the Scarlet. Now, the sun is not cooperating with trying to get this porch here, so we'll just go ahead and see what I can do to get you a good shot of the porch. The sun's starting to set, getting late in the day. Got our overhead light there. I got the Scarlet. It is a three bedroom, two bath, triple wide. Not sure of the square footage right offhand. So this one is laid out where everything runs long wise instead of lengthwise so instead of everything running like that home there where it kind of runs all this way this one runs this way with the uh, the layout looks really good y'all are gonna, really going to want to check this out I am at Pratt Homes in Tyler Texas and we've got the, I believe this was a 712 roof pitch. So ladies, you've got a makeup counter in this one. You've got a huge walk-in closet. You've got a long or a big wraparound kitchen. I mean, this has got so much stuff to offer. I mean, you can see on the back side here, we've got one, two, three layers here. So each section is a different length. That kind of really adds to your curb appeal. Okay, so we already got to check out the porch, but I didn't show you we had this really, you know, full glass door here. Okay, so now as we come in, the other really nice thing about this, you're not looking straight into your kitchen, not looking straight into your dining room. Of course, now this is a wide angle lens, so you can see a little bit of the dining room over there. <clears throat> but we've got, you know, built in TV area here. And a little cubby down below. Put your direct TV box down there, I guess. But, or your cable box, whichever you have. And look at the size of this living room. And we've got the crown molding. Big six inch crown molding. Now these are nine and a half foot ceilings. So like not only is this home large, but the nine and a half foot ceilings just makes it feel even bigger than, than it already is. So now to our dining room here. This is a large space. I mean, look how much space you have this way. You could easily add, you could just put an eight man table there and without even blinking. And then our kitchen, like I said, you have this big kind of wrap around kitchen. So there's no counter over there where those windows are at. And 
Well, we've got the butcher block style countertops. Now, that is just a rolled Formica over the countertops there, but it uh, looks really good. Then we've got the rustic wood looking backsplash. Microwave over your stove. Now these are the LG appliances. We've got our pots and pans drawers right next to the stove. Soft closed doors. Lots of cabinets in this kitchen. And if that storage isn't enough for you with those pots and pan drawers, we've got the extra large pots and pans drawers. I mean, like that's your normal size. And those are your extra large <laughs> in this long center island here. You've got adjustable shelves in your cubby at the end. Same thing at this end. And this one even gives you the USB plug. And a lot more counter space over here. A lot more drawers, or yeah, drawers and cabinets. And then we've got the pantry style cabinet. All right, we better get moving before this thing gets too long. There's still a lot to show. Nice light fixtures. And so coming off the dining room, you get kind of a little open hallway here with your furnace. And I believe this was a linen closet. And then back here is your utility room. This one was your water heater. Of course, you've got your side-by-side -side washer and dryer. A cabinet up above. There's our back door. And now you can fit just about any size chest freezer or stand-up freezer you like in that corner. And then our attic access. Since we're here, we're going to go ahead and do the master bedroom first. Now look at the size of this bedroom when you walk in. That king size bed looks small in here. In order to fill this room, you're going to need a shack size bed. All right, we'll go one more shot from over here, then we'll go into the bathroom. Now, I hope you all will stick around and finish watching the rest of the video because, you know, we're going to have the other bedrooms you got to look at, the other bathroom. Really nice countertops in here. You got three mirrors. Ladies, there's your makeup counter. And lots of counter space at the end of each sink there. I really like this dark wood they did up here. And we've got the extra large soaker tub. Like I said, this one is big enough you can fit two people in there. <laughs> That's how big that soaker tub is. And there's a hint of the shower. But we've got the water closet. And then we've got the dual head rustic wood tile shower with the river rock inlay. So you've got the dark bronze here. Looks really good. 
And then you've got your rain head shower over here. And they continued on with that river rock down below. And you've got a bench right there you can sit on. You said this shower looks really, really good. Let's just stand back and take an oogle. Not a Google, but an oogle. How about our closet? Check that out. That is a nice big walk-in closet. Big enough they got to put in a full-size window. All right. So now we have we got to go to the other end of the home and go get the kids rooms. So stick around. I will have some price information for you at the end of the video. As I, of course I stated that in the beginning also. Check out all those windows still. Doesn't that look really good? All right. So straight ahead off of your living room here is your two kids' bedrooms. And then you've got your big old closet in here. Big enough to give you double doors. And bedroom number two. Now this one's got the sun shining straight in. That's bright when it hits you in the eyes, I tell you what. He goes way down there. <laughs> All right. And now you got your bathroom. Now this one's just got your standard size counter and sink right here. And I didn't wave to Raiden when we were in the master bathroom, so hello. And then they went with that really large shower tub combo. This one's also got the dark bronze on it. And I hope y'all will leave me a comment down below letting me know what you think of this really large home. Sorry it was a little on the quicker side. I'd like to have shown it a little bit slower. It's the end of the day and I'm running out of battery. <laughs> so I had to make sure I got her done. With that, I will see you in the next one, but don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications. That way you get notified when I upload videos. And have a good evening. All right, so we gotta get its price information on this one. Obviously the view is a little bit different. This is actually being recorded on the laptop. I started doing the recording on this one, or the editing I should say on this one. So I gotta finish it on this one instead of the desktop because I started this one editing it while I was at work. So anyway, enough about all that stuff. We got to get into the price information. So price on this home. Now, once again, this is at Pratt Homes. They don't like to provide an actual price because every one of their homes is slightly different. So keep that in mind. They only gave me a range starting with the low end up to the high end. And with that, this is a 1,996 square foot modular home. So that, of course, that includes cranes and foundations and things like that. So the prices are going to be a little bit higher. But with that, this one starts at uh, $239 or $120 a square foot. Goes up to, depending on options that you get, $160 a square foot, and that would come out to roughly $320,000. So, you know, depending on options, you could get it at a really affordable rate, or you could be, you know, way up there in price. But uh, I really like the Scarlet. This is a really nice home. I love the layout of this one, especially the fact that it's, you know, multiple different lengths and stuff. 
and just overall the floor plan just felt really good to me especially the fact the master bedroom isn't off your kitchen it's not off your living room it's not off your dining room it's kind of got a little, its own little hallway but anyway we got to get uh, going here so i will see you in the next one thanks for watching make sure you hit the like button the subscribe button all that kind of stuff and i will see you later have a good day bye